Hey you guys, hey you guys, it's your girl Kelly B. You don't mean I'm coming at you with another video. Yes, another video. I am bloated right now. I got my my monthly today and um not really feeling well. But I'm doing this first impressions because it's Friday's first impressions. So let's get into this video. The first thing we got is a Huda Beauty Mild Obsessions palette. I got this in a recent Ipsy. This retails for $27 and um, this is not really a first impressions because I actually used it. Can it open? I actually used it. There we go. And there are the shades. It's really, really pretty. I used it for like the past couple of videos. You've seen it on my eyes. And um, let's just dive into it. No primer because I'm going to tell you why. So the first shade I'm going to go in is with that middle shade all over the eyes. I'm just using it as a base color. But yes, yeah, so I don't really need a primer with these shadows because I've been through the worst. I've been through rain. I've been through heat. I've been through a workout sesh. And um, these shadows stayed on my oily eyelids. I think it's because my eyelids are my eyelids are oily it gets oily throughout the day and also because i use a hydrating eye cream that i could get away with this and it kind of sticks to my eyes and i don't need primer but some eyeshadows even though my eyelids are like perfect for eyeshadows they don't stay on so i'm really excited with this formula especially because the other palette the coral sessions like it faded throughout the day if I didn't put primer on and it does do that with one shade and I'm gonna show you the shade it's like a creamy shade if I could I could pick up the palette right but anyways that's the creamy shade right there it's like a, a cream like a mauve cream everything in here is mauve so and it did fade out throughout the day you saw it in my last video that's the only thing is when I'm doing matte looks, I need to put a primer under the sh the the eye that I wanted, the eye, the eyeshadow that I want to shine. All I did was take this deeper shade right here and darkened up the outer corners and put some in the crease. Now I'm going to take this shimmer shade right here and put it on the lid and then put some smudging some brown liner. Then we're gonna go on to the next product, which is mascara be warned that that shade right there it has like a bunch of fallout um it's some on my face i'm going to sweep it off i'm glad i did my eyes before it because the other shimmers it didn't really have fallout for liner i used my little baby sephora brown liner for mascara we have the covergirl lash blush value mascara i received this in influencer and i want to test it out so let's test it out i like the feel of this it's like like a matte feel but it's not matte it's, I like the packaging whoa that wand oh it's, it's really big okay well oh no I just poked myself do you see a difference because I don't see that much of a difference. It's supposed to be like 10 times the volume. Where? I see I see some volume, but where? Fail. Well, it might change with formula like a Too Faced by Then Sex. So we're going to give it another ch chance another day. But I'm going to finish up the other eye. Then we're going to go into foundation. I lied. The next thing is... Brow product, Fenty came out with a brow pencil, so I'm going to test it out. This is what the packaging looks like. And this is what the pencil looks like. Just straight, plain white packaging with the color on the top. What made me pay 20 bucks for this pencil is this little brush that it has at the end. And I want to... I kind of like it. I wanted to see if it brushes my hair, and it actually does, and I love it. Um, I heard that NYX has a, another, has a um, brush like this and people like it. I did not know about that. But if NYX has it and Vivi is like NYX, mm, save your money. But for right now, I really like the brush. 
now onto the pencil side. What I like is that it's the color of my brows. It's not too darker, it's not too lighter. I got it in the color of black brown and I really like it. <sighs> and it's so precise and like one little thing did two brows with my brows. I didn't have to keep on doing it up. I really like these. Okay, now into foundation. So for foundation, I have the Milk Makeup Blurring, well not blurring stick, Flex Foundation Stick and Rich. This, I wasn't on my, even my radar until um, Shanice, aka Too Much Mouth, she said it was a good thing for a stick foundation. My favorite stick foundation is the Anastasia Beverly Hills stick foundation because it's a matte stick foundation. This is not a matte stick foundation. This is going to be like a second skin. And she really liked it and she liked the same, she likes the same type of coverage that I like. She has the same type of skin type that I have. I have oily combination, she has oily combination. So I really, really, really go off of her recommendations. So I picked this up and I'm like, I hope it's my shade. Here's what the packaging looks like. Really plain, really construction. Anyways, just ignore them. Um, this is what the packaging looks like. It's all white. It could get really dirty very easily. So it twists up from the bottom. And let's just dive in. Yeah, it looks like it could be my shade. A little bit darker. Or probably a different undertone but it looks like it could be my shade. I think I just put three on and I don't think I need three. I think I just need two. It says a medium coverage natural finish foundation that covers calm and calms and flex without creasing or caking. And I could, I could smell why it calms. It smells like eucalyptus, but look at that. Dirty already. So far, I like the way it looks like on the skin. So I'm finished up the eyes. Now I'm gonna powder. Then I'm gonna put some blush. Then we're gonna talk about the new lipsticks I have. All right, for lipsticks we got a Mac lipstick in Lustering, and then we got the Unicorn. No, it's not Unicorn, but it's Designer Blood from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I've never really, really like tested these out, and it probably I I thought it would go with this look. Maybe. So the bottom one is um, Designer Blood. And the top one is Lustering. I think I'm going to go with the MAC one because it it's like more shiny and more into my lips color, if you understand. That one, probably holiday season. Yeah. But I love both of the formulas. I love Jeff Store's matte, long-lasting formula, and I love MAC's matte, MAC, MAC, MAC formula but this is their like creamy formula i love that formula too so i'm gonna just put it on okay now recap i have been wearing this foundation for a good hour and it's sitting really really pretty um i like it so far so far the lipsticks of course i love um the mascara don't have a definite on that because it might be like a Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I might like it after it gets older, but for right now, I do not like it. This right here, this Huda Beauty Palette, I actually think is worth the $27. The other one, I thought it was worth, you know, it on sale, but this is really, really good. And then the Fenty product, I actually really like. I don't think it's worth $20, but it's with her brand, right? So it's okay. But I really, really like my brows. This is like something I might repurchase and might pay the $20. Hmm. Anyways, that's the end of this video. Did I get everything? Yes, 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 yes. Hope you guys like this and have a great day. Have a great night whenever you're watching this. And bye, guys.